single one of you in here tonight. It's called Who Would I Be? back to one of my very earliest memories when I was five years old 
And my mum and dad took me to my very first live concert in the UK to see John Denver. <laughs> and at five years old, I was pretty much his biggest fan ever. Um, and uh, I knew every single word to every single song. And, um, and for years, I just, I just loved his music. And uh, then as I grew a little older and you know, went through my teenage years and wanted to kind of get into angrier music, <laughs> um, I kind of stopped. I stopped listening to him for a long time. So then when I came back to do the acoustic album in Nashville, um, I went back and rediscovered his songs and remembered what it was that I had loved so much about them. And I ended up recording my version of my all-time favorite song of his.
was one um, off the Callahan album, and um, this song came about in quite, in quite a strange way, actually, because I was um, I was sitting at the piano in LA one day, and I was just kind of messing around, and I I had started this song a, a while ago um, called "If You Miss Me When I'm Gone," and I'd, I'd kind of started writing it, and then as you do sometimes, you get halfway through the song and you think, "Oh, something's just not quite working. I'm not." feeling it, you know, and so I'd kind of put it to one side. And what made me revisit it was um, I'd had this very odd dream the night before where I, I'd had a conversation with someone in my family who had passed away years ago. And, um, and it was such a strange feeling and it, because it, it seemed so real at the time. You know, the next morning I woke up and just for a few seconds I actually thought that I had seen that person the night before and we'd had a good catch up. And, uh, and it was an amazing feeling, and so the more people I spoke to about this, the more I found out that this does happen to a lot of people. And for whatever reason, uh, it's just an amazing thing, and it really makes you think that even if somebody is gone, they're never really gone. Um, you know, even if it's in your memories, in the world around you, um, in your dreams. And so I revisited this song, and, uh, and I completely rewrote it. And I, and I thought it was a little bit of a sad song, so I went, when I went into the studio in LA to record this, I thought, okay, it's gonna be real simple, piano, vocal, that's it. And then I spoke to the producers and I, and I sang it to them. And they said, well, we really think that you should uh, put a gospel choir on this song. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And my manager thought, oh my God, that sounds expensive. Um, but, uh, they ended up coming down, and some gospel singers came down who just were incredible. And um, one of the singers that day was called Lewis Price, who's a good friend of the producers, and he has the most amazing voice. He used to be in the band The Temptations. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, God, it was such it was such an honor just getting to you know record with him and listen to him sing all day. Um, and so I I had them sing on a couple of songs, and um, and it really. After hearing this song with their, with their voices on it, it really made me rethink this song. It, you know, it doesn't feel like a sad song anymore. It's, um, it's hopeful and comforting. And um, obviously you're going to have to imagine the choir tonight. <laughs> but um, it's, uh, it's called If You Miss Me When I'm Gone. If you ever think 
on the whiskey already? Yes, you are. Oh. Ladies, you got the rhythm. Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it would be really wrong about it, but not back a shot of whiskey, but I really hate whiskey. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I've tried, believe me. I used to hate all alcohol, but I persevered with some, and I, and I grew to love it. <laughs> I just haven't managed it with whiskey yet. And I remember a holiday I went on with my oldest sister, who's six years older than me, and we, were, we did a holiday up in Scotland, and uh, went to some whiskey distilleries, and she had to drive, um, so she could not really drink anything, and uh, I remember the, this guy bought me a uh, selection of whiskeys, and they were all, you know, very, this is how you drink it, and these are the tasting notes, and all that, and I, I took one sip, and I was like, <laughs> I said, um, could, could I have some, a, a bit, just a drop more water in it, please? So he passed it back, and then uh, still couldn't drink it, just a bit more water, and uh, in the end they were like, oh my god, this is ridiculous, you know? I was, it was like this much. It'll get you at some point. You'll like it. That's what I keep telling my wife. She thinks I'm drinking aqua. But eventually she's going to be like, oh, Yeah, what point? <laughs> whiskey cocktails are nice. Yes. That's a gateway to whiskey, so. <laughs> weekend, don't worry that it's Monday tomorrow, because um, this song is all about enjoying right here, right now, the moment that you're in, and kind of just freezing time for a minute, and not worrying about anything else which is going on, and I feel like we all need that sometimes. Um, so it's all about worrying less, having more fun, and, um, and singing along at the top of your voices. <laughs>
leave you with a little um, unplugged number tonight. Um, oh, I don't know if I, if I uh, told you um, in, in the first half, but I have a mailing list out there where the CDs are, and if you want to sign up to the mailing list, I will let you know when I'm coming back through this area next. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a little prize draw. Woo! I thought you'd be excited about this. Um, so just enter your email address on one of the little cards, drop it in the box, and then you may win some handwritten signed lyrics to any song of your choice. As long as they're... As long as it is one of my songs. <laughs> Someone's going to put a custard pie in my face or something. So, yeah, don't forget to sign up to the email list uh, before you leave tonight. And um, if you want to stay in touch, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all of those kind of places at Callahan Music. Um, Alright, so we're going to leave you with a little unplugged number. Which is on my, uh, so this song is on the Callahan album and I've also done a little uh, ukulele version of it on the acoustic album as well. Um, it's on called Bear Together and there is a very easy sing-along part to this so when I do the chorus it goes Bear It Together and then you guys just sing Bear It Together. Yes, you know it already. This is excellent. Also if anyone in here can whistle this is the song for you, okay, because there's going to be a whistle solo in the middle that you can also join in. Yeah! Start limbering those lips up. Right. Okay, so that sounded creepy, didn't it? <laughs> I don't say that. I don't That's my favorite thing.
everyone. This has been... Was yes! It? Oh! What time is your flight? Oh, I love that you're going to be cursing me in a few days like when you can't get that out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> this has been so much fun tonight. Thank you for coming out and... Been, I think you shouldn't sit on the <laughs> They got him and out, so I'm sitting on the <laughs> um, This has been so much fun and just such a great way for me to end my tour. So thank you so much. <laughs> sung by so many people over the years, but I still think it's just one of the most beautiful songs ever. Yeah.